Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the channel. Oh my goodness, I have missed you guys. It has been about two or so weeks since I've last filmed. You may have noticed I took a slight hiatus from posting, and that is because I um, was in Arizona, and I my family had an emergency health scare. Um, so essentially, my mom texted me on a Sunday and said, hey, your dad is having emergency heart surgery tomorrow. He had no previous heart issues. He was totally fine. So again, it was out of nowhere. And so um, I told my boyfriend, hey, we, I'm in, I'm in Southern California. My parents are in Arizona. It's like, hey, we need to like pack up our dogs and go see my dad um, and stay with my mom. And so we were there for two weeks. We didn't know how long we were going to be there for. And I have never gone through a health scare or health emergency, whether for myself, my family, anyone close to me. I have never experienced extreme grief. Um, I've never lost anybody who's close to me. And so all of this was completely new and foreign to me. And I didn't yet have the emotional tools of how to deal with something like this. Um, and I say the emotional tools because every experience that you go through, every trauma or stressful event, every negative experience gives you tools that you can use for future experiences that are similar. And in the past, I would have completely just blacked out and have turned to food because again, this was so overwhelming. Like I love my dad so much. He is amazing. He's amazing. And so for him to go through this and like to have someone so close to me go through this and I was preparing to um lose him. I was preparing to lose him because it he was rapidly his health was rapidly declining. And the doctors were, you could just tell they were like, we don't know how this is going to go. And so again, it was a very overwhelming and emotional experience. And the first few days, I definitely found myself eating more than I wanted to. However, I was conscious throughout the process and I noticed, I was able to notice the emotions that were happening, be aware of what was going on and be aware that I was wanting to turn to food to cope with my emotions, which is already a huge step because when you go through something so overwhelming and emotional, it can be hard to step outside of your emotions and your mind and just observe yourself. And the fact that I was able to take a step back and observe, okay, Vivian is going through an emotional experience and we know that when that happens, she often turns to food. And so just being able to just take that step back and observe myself as like a third person was already such a big step for me again, because I've just never been through a situation like this. So the fact that I didn't completely go unconscious was amazing, absolutely amazing. And I believe it's because I've just practiced so much mindfulness in not identifying with my emotions and my thoughts, but just seeing them, you know, play like a movie on a screen. That's essentially what I was noticing. Like even when I was crying, I was able to notice, wow, Vivian's going through a very overwhelming experience and she just needs a lot of love right now. Again, just observing myself as a third person. And the more I was actually able to take that step back. And that's not to say that I didn't have so many periods where I was very sad, was crying, was just, I mean, I'm sure you can imagine just overwhelmed. There weren't, there were so many periods where I felt that way. But again, even through that, I would be able to catch myself midway and just as I'm crying, notice myself, experience the emotions and just go back to, wow, you know, what a beautiful human experience I am feeling right now. And, and it's important to understand that in order to master your emotions and master your eating habits, to really take a step back and understand that as bad as we may experience a situation to be, as bad as we label something, all of this, everything that we go through, it's part of the human experience. And you can't have the highs without the lows. You can't have the good without the bad. They coexist. And so understanding that 
not so strongly identifying with, oh my God, this is horrible. This is terrible. What's going on? But rather being able to take a step back and just see, wow, I'm overwhelmed and I'm sad and I'm stressed and I'm crying and I'm scared to lose my dad. And again, just what a beautiful, amazing human experience that we're able to go through. Because at the end of the day, we're all going to lose our parents at some point, you know, what, um, unless they lose us first. Um, but it's going to happen. It, it's going to happen, you know, whether it's emergency health care or just old age or whatever natural causes or horrific causes, it's it's going to happen to literally every single one of us that's watching that that is watching this video right now. It's not, it's an, it's inevitable. Right. And so understanding that things are, are not always going to make sense and go our way and being able to take that step back and just see it as an experience and not label it as good or bad. But again, just, wow, what an experience I'm going through. What, what an experience, what, what a, an event that I just never could have predicted 24 hours ago. But as you can see, just being able to not so strongly be like, oh my God, this is horrible. This is awful. What is happening? But okay. What's happening? What's going through my body? What am I feeling? You know, why am I feeling this way? And being able to take that step back, that was pivotal. That was so pivotal in helping me maintain a somewhat um, calm demeanor. And with that, being able to talk myself down when I did feel like I wanted to turn to food and just sit with my emotions. I allowed myself to just sit. And I, I pictured myself as a kid needing so much love and just like wanting a hug. And so seeing that instead of turning to food, um, I was able to visualize myself like literally giving myself a hug and being there for me because I just knew that's what I needed at the time. And even now, you know, I'm feeling the emotions I was feeling then, I'm crying, but I'm not thinking oh my God, I'm so sad right now. Why am I crying? I'm just like, wow, I'm reliving this experience. Um, How interesting is it that I'm feeling it again? And I'm just able to observe myself sitting down, talking to the camera, crying and feeling everything I felt the last two weeks. And I, I know this video is not as structured as normal, but I'm just trying to explain to you my thought process going through a, one of the toughest times I've ever had to go through. I'm explaining to you my thought process because this is how I think through everything in my life. You know, when things don't go the way I would like them to, I'm able to take that step back and go, okay, why am I experiencing this pain or this sadness? You know, I'm fearing of losing a loved one or I'm fearing being judged or I'm fearing of not being enough, but just being able to understand why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling but see the bigger picture, see the silver lining. And the silver lining of my dad going through this is that it brought my family together. Me, my mom, my brother, my dad, it brought us together, which I genuinely do not believe would have happened unless something this major happened. And just being able to see the silver lining through it all and seeing my dad in the hospital bed and and being so absurdly grateful for my health, you know, cause I, I'm so big on fat loss and physique and, you know, look good, feel good. But being able to see what it looks like when your health is truly taken away, I, it brought me an immense amount of gratitude that I, I don't think I've ever had. Cause I've just never been that close to sickness and death before. Whew. So I know this video is not structured. I don't even know what the title is going to be, but I thought it was important that I share my last two weeks with you because it is so relevant to emotional and binge eating because we do, we binge eat and we emotionally eat when we go through really tough, traumatic, stressful, emotional times. And we don't know, we don't have the tools for how to deal with that. And, you know, after this experience, I'll, and and getting some time away from it, I'll definitely be able to sit down and collect my thoughts so that I can create a more structured video for you guys so that I can really give you a step-by-step process of how to deal with stressful and traumatic events. Um, But this was more of a 
heart to heart video and talk, just telling you how I've been feeling and what happened and just even helping me um, understand what happened these last two weeks and verbalizing out, out, out loud and being able to express my thoughts and emotions out loud really helps me better understand myself and my emotions and the human mind as well. So that really is what this video was for. So if you've made it with me to this point, I just am so grateful for your support and your love and you being here and your energy. Thank you so, so much. And if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, to overcome yo-yo dieting and binge eating and learn the tools and strategies to help you overcome binge eating, the all or nothing mindset, and so that you can lose weight for good and feel amazing in your skin. Then you can go to my website, www.teamevolve.co and submit an application form to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. You can also follow me on my other social medias. I'm mostly active on Instagram. I post stories every single day. I post my workouts. So if you would love to see that, then you can follow me at Vivian No. And you can also follow me on TikTok where I post a lot more binge eating, yo-yo dieting centered content as well at Vivian No with an underscore at the end. If you would like to see other binge eating, yo-yo dieting content for me and how I was able to overcome it, then you can go ahead and click this video right here. And otherwise, thank you so much for being here. I'm so grateful to be here, to be alive, to be able to share this experience with you. I'm sending you so much love. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I hope you have an amazing day.